Hello, 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 and welcome back. I'm going to go through and show you my what's left of my September kit from the Wild Hair Kits and also show, show you what I made. So as you can see, I have very little left. I will link um, in the description box below my unboxing video so you can see what I got. Um, but I'll show you what I have left. So here's uh, just the scraps of bits of paper. So most of these are probably scraps from the 6x6 paper pad. Um, so all those are... That may not be, that's not. So all that's just scraps from the 6x6 paper pad and I dare say I will just toss the majority of that. I might cut that off and keep that little piece. But other than that, I think all those little bits and pieces will go in the bin. This is what I have left of my 12x12 12 12 paper pads. Um, so very little there and a couple of the border strips. Yes, both of those come from this month. So very little papers and I also have some 6x6 six six paper pads left, uh, papers left. So these are my full sheets that I have left. There, I've got the whole book so there was 32 sheets in there and I went through and had a count and there are 13 sheets left. So I used a little bit more than half a pad, which is fine. I'll just carry that over into my stash. And this is what's left of my ephemera. So I used the cut file to make some florals. So that's just the leftover of these florals. Um, I'll certainly keep some of those. That's a cutout from the 6x6 paper pad. Same with that. Same. Uh, that's some just cutouts from the... Some circles I punched from 6x6 paper pads as well that I didn't use. One of the layouts I used circles. I'll probably throw those ones out. So I think that is all that is left from the actual ephemera pack. That is from the 12x12 12 12 cut apart sheet. Um, what's been left. Oh sorry, and there's one in there as well. Oh, and there's a little one stuck up there and one that, that was cut up out from the cut apart sheet too. Um, I cut it in half, I was going to use that but I didn't use it. I think I'll end up throwing that one out. So very little of the ephemera pack left and I didn't even open the washi this month. Use some of the sequins and the enamel dots. I only have one little bow left and another little bit from the cut apart sheet. Sorry. And I think, I can't quite remember to be honest, I have some stars here. Now I can't remember whether I pulled those from my stash or they come in this month's kit. Um, I have used quite a few, but I do have a few left and they, a couple of things are from my stash as well. So. All in all, I think I've used the kit very, very, very well. So now, as I said, I'll go on and show you what I have made. So I'll go with the eight and a half by 11s first. So I made three of those, um, no, four eight and a half by 11s. So most of this were from, was from this month's kit. These little buttons here were from last month. So this was the second last kit that, uh, the second last page I made with the kit. So there's that one. There's this absolutely gorgeous one here. This is where I used the cut file. I um, used some Distress Oxide ink and coloured in the cut file. Fussy cut it out, backed it with some of the papers from the 6x6 paper pad and have made that here. So that's a little cute one. This was the last layout that I made. So it was just using the last of the little strips and the bits and papers that were left from the kit. Um, using some of these stars that I spoke about. 
and some of these little puffy stickers here this here also come from last month's kit um, so I just pulled that one in and this one here so I've got a little shaker pocket here the stickers are from my stash but other than that everything else was in this month's kit so that's the eight and a half by 11s as i said there's four of those i only made two 12 by 12s so there's this one here this was a scrap lift of another one of the design team members Page. I can't even remember who I scrap lift it now. I think it was. Hmm, can't quite remember. Jeez, isn't that shocking? Cara, I think. Cara Ness. No, Sam. Sam Adams. Sam. Um, uh, yes, Sam Adams. That's who that scrap lift was from. And then there was this one here. So this one, I believe, was possibly my blog post for the month. So I, that would have went up on the 13th of the month. So you want to say about that, you can certainly hop on to their blog and have a look to see how I made that one. All the details for the, um, the wild hair kits are below as well in the description box and I made a couple of pages in my travelers notebook so this is the ones continuing on documenting the oh I think that was this month yeah that was this month um, girls trip away that I had there was that one and then there was that one so I did two in this book and then i did a couple in this one as well so i did that one there that was a challenge for over at um the scrap girls i did a challenge over there that tiffany put up and then there was this one here as well Once again, all the thickers and the outfits come from my stash because I do request that I don't get any thickers or alphas with my kits as I have a whole stash full. That's it. That is the layouts for the month and what is left of the kit. As I said, I have started my... October kit. So the October kit that I received was a um, petite kit. That's so I can actually bring some stuff in from my stash. So keep an eye out for what um, all the girls over on the design team do with our petite kits. Anyway, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed these um, looking at this little review and seeing how much I had left. Until next time, everyone have a lovely day, a lovely week or a lovely month and I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye.